Hey there, hackers. Let's take a look at this wonderful screen here, which is the installation screen on Haiku. Get used to it. You are going to use it a lot. A lot. Okay, so we'll come to this. I'm English in terms of language. Run the installer, accept the fact that it's going to break. No partitions are found. That's great, because none will be found. We need to set up a special partition. This is your CD, because it shows a CD. Plus, you can't really edit it. This looks like a hard disk. This is your hard disk. You have two ways you can initialize it. Intel partition or GUID. Let's go GUID, because, you know, that's like the proper way of doing stuff. Kind of. Let's write the changes. Yay, so we're ready to go, right? Wrong! Next thing you need to do is you need to click here for this partition thing. You can right-click here, you can go to partition up there, or you can right-click on this thing. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Or you could just do Alt-C to create it. And then let's give it a name like... Haiku. Descriptive. Right? Changes. And you're not done yet. Because in order for it to find it, it's got to be a B file system. Because remember, BOS. Initialize. Right changes. Okay. That's it. You go up here, you click this little thingy, exit out. That's all you need to know. The other one makes it full screen, but we're not doing that. Now, you notice no error boxes. That's good. And there is Haiku. And, I mean, it, you really can't select the other ones because they're kind of mounted. But, you know, any other partitions you can. This is, this is a hard disk. Let's just do it. And then, begin. And this might take a while on some computers. Maybe not. All I know is that I've tried so many times to get software to install on this, and I've done it so many times I've just gone crazy. Flashback here to the piggy. I'm a little piggy. Now we wee wee wee. Well, hey there, little piggy. I'm a stranger. Oh, that's cool. Flashback here to the book. Yeah. Well, I might as well start with some good reading material on, you know... <coughs> Moment. Dust in my eye. Dust in my eye. Yeah. And then let's just go ahead and restart. No boot sounds. I'm making my own. I think should be the official start sound of Haiku. Although with echo. Okay, so um, before I rip my hair out, let's go ahead and just try to install something. You have multiple applications you can use to do stuff here. You have the Haiku Depot, which, I mean, for all intents and purposes, really doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really show you anything half the time. At least in this virtual machine, it has not been. See, when we unclick that, we see a lot more. And that's not all. That's not all. No. In fact, we can go to Show, and we can show Developer Packages, and source packages, and then we can have a whole lot more stuff to go through. So, let's just kind of make this a little bit bigger here. Clicking this, two things makes it full screen. You can kind of search for stuff here, and it will kind of pick things based off of, you know, oh, this is kind of linked to it, so yeah, why not? But, let's see, the status means that it can be active, which means installed, or available, which means that it's not installed yet. And pretty much everything that you would probably ever want or need is already installed on here. I mean, that's just crazy. Now, the other way that you can install packages is by going to your applications and your terminal. This is pretty much kind of like using Bash and Linux. I mean, what is the shell anyway? Yeah, we're using Bash. Well, you know. I mean... It's uh, very appropriate, because you're going to be bashing your head in multiple times trying to get this thing to work. Let's see the command now that we use. Package man. It's very nice, and I mean, it's almost like Pac-Man and Arch Linux. That's how I remember it. And package man is fairly simple. And in fact, it is the back end that Haiku Depot calls, unless I am completely mistaken, which is most often the case. But let's see if we can use package man and let's search for now no the Java development kit because I like Java. No matching packages found. How about open? Open JDK. Well I know that there are packages because when I looked on my actual haiku machine, not my virtual machine on my real one, it shows me packages. I mean it's just I don't why am I using this again? Um let's just do package man. Hmm. Install. 
Now, every time I've been trying to do Vim, I break the thing. Hmm. Refreshing repository. Hmm. Will I be able to fix this? Probably not. Stay tuned next time. Or something. Thanks for watching. Have fun. And, howdy hacking.